It is an era of turbulence. A time of uncertainty. The world is changing. Kingdoms emerge and prepare for war. Welcome to Fantasia. Greetings and salutations, everybody. My name is Klautos, and welcome back to Fantasia. In the in the last video, uh, we built these walls. Finally, we got some some walls built around our castle, and they are looking fantastic. Uh, we did a a 1,000 subscriber Q and A, which was a whole lot of fun. And uh, you guys seem to have enjoyed it quite a lot. So I might do another one um, whenever I hit 10,000, <laughs> if I hit 10,000. But uh, yeah, so here are the walls that we did. And uh, I really like them. They're coming along nicely. Now, they are missing something very essential. They're missing battlements. I need to get some battlements on these walls. And uh, why, is, why am I laggy? And I'm only at 30 frames per second. What is going on? I don't know why. I have no idea why. I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'll figure it out for the next episode. I don't want to go mess with it right now. So I apologize if it's a little uh, glitchy looking. Uh, but anyway, here we are. So I need to come up with a good uh, design for some crenellations. And um, now uh, you could just go... You know, boom, 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 along the whole thing. And I've seen a lot of people do that, but that's not correct because, first of all, they can still shoot you if you're standing behind them. So they <laughs> they don't do any good. They need to be at least that tall. Okay. Uh, preferably something like that. You know, a good place to, to hide behind, like this. Uh, and then you'd have a space in between... And you'd have something like that, right? Um, that would make a lot more sense. That would be more historically accurate than that. So, I, I want to I want to make this functional uh, in Minecraft, right? Not just not just for aesthetics, but I also want it to have functionality. So, um, I think I'm gonna start on these over here in the gatehouse up here. So I want to get some battlements up in here. I want to have some machicolations coming down. Legit machicolations. Not like these faux machicolations that aren't really functional where it's like, you know, you have like this and this and and this, you know, and then you have on top of it. I've seen I've seen a lot of Minecrafters do stuff like this over the top, you know, and then they'll have their their crenellations like this. They'll do something like that. And it looks nice. It looks nice, but those matriculations are blocked off. I mean, they're they're functionally useless, right? So, but I want to do what I want to do is have um, functional matriculations in between the uh, the crenellations underneath underneath the merlons, right? So, I need to figure out how I want to do that. And I think in order to have them functional, I'm gonna have to come out by two blocks so it's gonna be a little on the big side of things so if we go here and then let's do a full block here and then like that right and then right in here we can have our matriculation and so let's get let's just do that across all of this and oop, like that uh, boom 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 and uh, is that it? No, oh, right there. Nope. Oh, right there. There we go. That makes sense. And we have stairs here. I don't want stairs there. I want to make these full blocks. So let's do that. Boom. So there's the there's the supports for our merlons right up there. So 
Oh, let's fly. Yeah, I'm flying. I'm in creative mode. Uh, sorry. I, I For those of you who don't know and are new to my channel, I play in creative mode because I have a very busy schedule and I, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> so, so I do it. I do it like this. Uh, okay, so let's get some some Merlons up here like that and then I think what I want to do is wait hold on hold on hold on now I have a better idea let's do it like this let's do it like this huh we'll go right here right here and right here and right here okay I think this will this will look better from a from an aesthetic point of view uh, we'll do that and then we want let's see let's do some of this right like that and then we'll go like this on top okay now how does that look how does that look? Ooh, I like it. I like it. I like it very much. So now we have functional machicolations alongside functional Merlons and Cornells, right? And the reason why I did a stair here is so that you can see this place here. If I were to do a full block, you can't see as far, right? So that's why I did these. I think that makes more sense to have them like that. Uh, now, the problem with this is that you could very easily fall through, right? So I think what I want to do is use some trap doors and we'll just do this on every one of these machicolations. That way, you can be over here, you can be defending, firing arrows and stuff, and then hiding behind here for, for cover, and then jumping out and shooting some more, and then, oh, they're getting too close to the wall, so you, oops, oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Oh, they're getting too close to the wall. Let's open up the matriculation. Fire arrows down. You know, yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. How's it look from down here? Functional matriculations in Minecraft. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's great. I love it. I love it. That is that is cool. Now I got to put it on these on these towers. I have to translate this around a somewhat circle. I might, you know, I might just squareify these on the top. Just because I think it'll be easier. Oh, I love that. That, that, yeah. That looks cool. I really dig it. Um, I kind of want to put something on top of these just for... Oh. Just for some decoration, some effect. Yeah. I like that. I like that. A little bit of color. Uh, this whole thing needs, needs color. Now, now, I'm making it all out of stone brick and cobblestone because historically that's what they would have been made of. <laughs> um, now in Conquest there are other textures like some of the some of the um, the textures for concrete and and uh, and terracotta have been changed. So I might be able to use some of those in this, but um, I'm a little on the fence about doing that because in the back of my mind I'm always like, well how's it going to look in default? That's always in the back of my mind when I'm building stuff. So um, I'm tempted to not use blocks for anything that they weren't intended to be used as in default. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe one day I'll get over that. But for now, it's just stone brick and cobblestone. And I have some mossy and some crack mixed in there just for a little bit of variation. Uh, but and, you know, this is this is how it's going to be for now. I, I'll, I might go back and change these and make these um, matriculations and uh, and crenellations out of wood. Uh, I could totally make it out of wood um, because of all the stair blocks and stuff like that that, that the wood has. Um, I might go back and, and redo that and, you know, with World Edit it'd be pretty easy. You know, I could just replace, I think, oh, but the direction of the chair, of the of the stairs would have I'd have to go through and manually do it but that's okay um, I don't mind um, so let's go ahead and try to do some up here huh let's go um, okay so we want to come out two 
right? I'm just going to use stairs for now. Like that. So this is how we did them. Oop, not that one. And then we'll knock these out and we'll put full blocks in there. Now the tricky part is going to be getting this to go around the sides there. Uh, that's the part I'm a little nervous about. How are we going to get this part to look good, right? <laughs> um, so let's go, um, let's see, we did that. Uh, how did, how did we do this? Ooh, you know what? You know what I want to do? Let's do this. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, I like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Which means on these, we're going to have to go like this. And like that. And boom. Boom. Just like that. And let's put our trap doors in. And I really need to put some floors in too. Like this has no floor. <laughs> it's just a it's just a cylinder. Uh so how's that look from down here? Oh. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Once it goes all the way around there and all the way around there. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, well let me get a little bit of work done on this. I'm gonna I'm gonna get these these crenellations going around these towers here. Uh I'll probably do this other side as well. Just in case somebody breaches this gate here, you can, you know, fight this way as well. So I want it to be fortified on both sides of these walls all over. So let me get a little bit of work done and I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, I'm back and uh, I got uh, I got the crenellations done up here and the machicolations and they're looking fantastic. Uh, this corner bit was a little tricky but I got it worked out it looks kind of weird up close right this is this block is kind of floating there uh, I suppose what I could do is maybe hold on let me do this real quick I didn't even think about this let's put a slab there huh I think that'll fix the problem boom boom and boom yeah see now it's not floating that's better I need to do this on all of these um, I also went and uh, I had to change the design of of these crenellations around the walls, and I'll show you why um, here in a here in a second after I get finished with these. I don't know why I didn't think of doing this. But there, that just makes it so much better. Now we don't have floating blocks. <laughs> so yeah, there we go. There are our towers. I'm thinking about putting a, a bridge here, bridging these two. So you can get from one tower to the other without having to go down and and cross right here. Um, I also got rid of the uh, trap doors that I had on top of those. It was just it was just too much when I was looking at it from above. It was just too much. Didn't like it. So I'm only gonna keep them as uh, machicolation covers. So yeah, I think it looks awesome. There it is. There is our entrance right there, uh, pending a little bit of a bridge there. Um, I'm also thinking about putting a roof on these, uh, having these towers uh, come up a little higher in the center here, and uh, sort of having secondary, uh, uh, a second tier of tower that's a little thinner coming up like this with a roof on top. Uh, I don't know how necessary that is though, but uh, it's just sort of in my brain. I just, I want to make everything taller, you know? But then again, if I did that, it would block off some of the potentially tall stuff that would be behind this. So you wouldn't be able to see it back there. Uh, anyway, so, um, so I had this design for the crenellations, uh, and I ended up taking them and putting them over here, but it didn't work. It was too, too busy. Like you can, you can see how, how kind of busy this looks, you know, it's every other block it shoots up. And over here it's fine because this is kind of a small, uh, small area. And uh, up there it's okay too, but down there it just didn't look right. So I came up with a different design, which is kind of a variation of that first one. Uh, that makes a lot more sense. All right, and, and from far away, like here, hold on, check it out, check it out. See that? That just looks, it looks way more realistic like this is this is about how big the crenellations would have been on a castle like this right oh i think it looks cool uh so so i put them on this wall i put them on that wall that wall 
and this wall. Now this one was really tricky because it's uh, it's not perfect. Like I did the flat walls first, okay, obviously because they're the easiest ones, <laughs> right? So so yeah, I put them here, went over here, uh, but then this wall is it's sort of divided in subsets of three, right? And this matriculation design is based on a set of four, right? So we have one, two, three, and then four. So I had to stagger them. Uh, it's it's the, the exact same thing as this, but I had to stagger it to get it to line up with the wall properly, you see? But uh, it, it came out okay. I like it. I like it. And, uh, you know, from far away, it looks just fine. You know, and especially if you're if you're center on it, you can't even really you can't even really tell, right? So, yeah, it works. Uh, right here, I'm gonna have a tower, so I didn't do the corner right there. I'm probably gonna have to take out those couple of merlons right there. Um, there's also gonna be a tower right here, and I'm sort of sort of struggling to 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 do this little this little area in here. Um, I'm considering just making a wall go from here straight to that. Um, but at the same time, I, I like how the wall does this. But this does create a bit of a weakness uh, that, you know, someone could come up here and get right up next to the wall. However, it is, it's very steep. I mean, they'd have to climb and, and get past all the guards up here. So it may not be that big of a deal. Um, I might just, just leave it. I don't know. That's that's. Oh, why? Oh, I'm laggy. Why am I? Why is my game all laggy today? I apologize. I'll have to figure that out for the next episode. <laughs> um. So yeah, then I did. Uh, I came over here and did this one. This one was a lot easier because this wall, this wall is angled with a subset of four, just like the matriculations are. So this one was pretty easy to do. They just stagger in one every four blocks. And then it goes flat again right here. So what I need to do next is I need to take... Man, what is, hold on. What are my frame rates? Why am I at 27? Oh, I know why. I know why. Check this out. <laughs> I think I still have it on... I still have it on 30. Let's put it on like... Let's put it on 18. I think that'll help. There we go. Yeah, now I'm at now I'm at 60 frames a second. Oh, I'm loading chunks, but oh yeah, that'll. Oh no, oh, come on, come on. Downside, I mean, the good thing is that now I have a better frame rate. See, but now I have to reload all those chunks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's what I have so far. Next thing I have to do. Oh boy, this is. <clears throat> Oh, 60 frames. I love it so much better. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so the next thing I have to do is I have to take this crenellation design and put it all along the walls, especially the outer walls. I'm doing the outer walls first, and then I'll do the inner walls. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I also need to th think about where I'm going to put the towers, but I think I want to do the crenellations first, and then I'll put the towers in. Uh, because I think if I put the towers in, uh, then I'm going to end up starting and finishing the crenellation sequences in weird places. So, like, for example, if I'm going to have a tower here, right? So I want it to be centered here. So that means it would come out to about here or something which means I wouldn't start the crenellation until there, and then it would, I don't know, I just think it would be easier to destroy a crenellation wherever the tower intersects with it, rather than to rather than trying to build the crenellations in between the towers, if that makes sense. <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it this way. Uh, so I'm gonna get all of these crenellations done all along the walls, and then in the next episode, I think we're gonna start placing some towers. So, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, another thing. Another thing I wanted to mention before I close the episode. Uh, 1.14. Okay. I am really, really itching to update my world to 1.14. I'm still in 1.12. And the reason I'm in 1.12, uh, is mainly because of the replay mod and Forge and World Edit. So, I, I use World Edit for, like, landscape stuff. That's pretty much 
it. You know, if I have to do like terraforming and stuff, I just use world edit for that, that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, but it's not terribly important. And I'm sort of weighing that against the fact that in 1.14, they added a whole bunch of new blocks that I could totally use in this kingdom. Lanterns and like all the different profession blocks, stone cutters and lecterns and smokers and just all the cool new stuff. And the fact that we can take plates and put them on the ground like that, uh, or, you know, item frames, put them on the ground like that. Uh, I mean, just all the cool little things that are that are happening in 1.14. I really, I really, really want to update my world. Uh, the downside is that Forge, there's a 1.14 version of it, but it's sort of like a beta. And I really just don't want to use it yet. Uh, but I might just say screw it. And uh, instead of using the replay mod to make my intros, I'll just turn on the smooth camera oh where is it hold on there's a there's an option to turn the smooth camera on uh let's see where is it um uh where is it other where is it i don't know where it is let's see done it's not in other it is in details no where is it uh cinematic camera Oh jeez, where is it? It's in. It's, I think. I think it's in. Yeah, controls. If we scroll down, see. And whenever I switch between 1.14 and uh, and 1.12, which is this place, it resets my uh, my camera. So if I want to toggle here, toggle cinematic camera, I always set it to the backslash because the backslash isn't used for anything, right? So now if I go backslash. Ooh, look, I have a nice smooth camera. So I could just do my, my intros using the smooth camera, right? And no one will know that it's not the replay mod because of how smooth it is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, so I don't know. Who knows? Maybe the next episode will be in 1.14. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm really considering it. Let's get that back. Okay, there we are. Uh, I'm really considering it. Heavily considering. Um... So anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the functional machicolation design. I think these are so cool. That's like, that's like, yes. Yes. It's like legit. Legit battlements on top of these walls. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so cool. Anyway, hit the thumbs up button. I really appreciate it very, very much. It helps out my channel a lot. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys in the next chapter of Fantasia. And until that time, be excellent to each other, and farewell.